Hello guys, continuing on the first part, set up a REST API using Merge Connect. In this video, we will see how to receive HTTP parameters using HTTP listener. So let's start. We will continue editing our same channel we used before in the setup REST API with Merge Connect video. And today, we are gonna see how to extract parameters, HTTP parameters, inbound message template. To do so, let's just send an HTTP request to this channel to see what is the input format. Using Postman, we're gonna send this request and add in, for example, a parameter such as DOV, for example, and the date. Just the same for the example, send. We have the same response we received in the previous video, which is the list of patients. But the important things here is to check in the Merge Connect console, what is the input format for this HTTP request. To check it, let's double click on the channel and we have here our request received in the messages panel and this is the input format. Let's copy this request. Going back to the channel editing, let's edit our source, edit transformer and add in the message template the format received. Again, it's just a template. We can, of course, customize it as we want, depending on our requirements of the API. Here, we're gonna need the get parameters, and we can extract them from parameters elements. As you can see, the list of parameters is gonna be XML elements, key and value. Let's add a new step. Uh, name it, for example, name it, for example, date of birth param switching to message trees going to parameters drag and drop our DOB parameters in mapping it's as simply as that we can extract the DOB parameter after receiving an HTTP request let's go back to destination and, for, and we have here the date of birth parameters and you can notice it's the same process we used before in the HA7 parsing video. As an example, let's take this parameter and use it in our destination, for example, to filter uh, the list of patients returned by this API and select only the patient that have the date of birth after this received date. So let's add a workload here. And filtering the date of birth. Let's check if the if it's the same column in the database. Yeah, it's the same. It's gonna be after the date received. Let's use prepare statement here and add second parameters, which is the params. Let's declare an array list new packages. You can notice that we are using the Java class here, which contains to Java util. And add to this list our date of birth params. Something like OK. It's done. So let's save and deploy. Let's send again, and this time it's 1970. So the expected result is to receive just the patient John card since it has a date of birth 1980. Okay, let's send. Okay, it's as expected, working fine. So now let's go forward and see how we're gonna extract multiple parameters at the same time. Going back to the channel, REST API, editing the transformer in the in the source, we can notice that the parameters in the message trees, we can extract the full XML format of the parameters, or we can extract each parameter. So let's this time use the full list of parameters. Let's create a new step. Let's select a JavaScript type. Here we're gonna declare a new variable, which is the parameters, exactly XML format. So let's name it XML parameters. Drag the full list. So this one it's XML string format. 
uh, let's convert it to JSON using the function exists in the reference which is XML to JSON so use this XML as an input it's XML parameters this time we have JSON string format again we need to convert it to a JSON object let's first log it ok save and deploy send again we have one parameters which is the date of birth send going back to the login and here is the JSON format we have so parameters and the list of parameters in one JSON object let's copy this format and track it here now after we know the exact format in the JSON parameters we can extract our date of birth and put it directly in the channel map so let's call channel map dot put name it for example date of birth and put JSON parameters but first we need to uh, parse it of course we're gonna add JSON dot parse and exactly accessing to parameters element so here directly calling json parameters dot the date dot date of birth dot dob let's name this step parse multiple param Okay, let's log first to make sure that we are to make sure that we are okay let's log also uh, the date of birth sorry again Okay, we are good. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.